Hello friends! Today we are reviewing the Flywoo Explorer LR4. As you can see it comes with quite a lot of accessories. In addition to the drone there are arm supports, spare 3D printed parts such as an ELRS antenna mount, an O4 Pro antenna mount, an O4 Pro camera guard, two sets of propellers, a spare anti-slip sticker for attaching the battery, a set of spare standoffs and screws, as well as a bunch of stickers. Now let's see what's inside. Here we have a pretty sweet Goku F722 Pro stack from Flywoo. Basically this drone can fly on 6S batteries because both the stack and the 1404 2750 kV motors support 6S batteries. But it's important to note that in order not to burn out the motors on 6S, the maximum prop size at this voltage is 3 inches. We also have the ELRS L24P included in the set, and this is the weakest point of this drone. No, it's not bad, but I think it has nothing to do with long range. But more on that in the next video, when we'll be making this already good drone even better. This drone also has an excellent GPS, Goku GM10 Mini B3. Yes, its location under the antennas of the O4 unit is not the best, but it finds about 20 satellites without any problems if there is no additional interference. To install the O4 unit, we use M2 by 10 screws and 5mm plastic nuts that come with the kit. I couldn't thread the antenna connector directly into the 3D printed antenna mount, so I had to modify it a little with a regular paper knife, then install the unit as you would in any other drone. Don't forget to remove the two S-Bass connector wires to avoid a conflict between S-Bass and ELRS, as was the case with the Cinelog 30V3. Screw on the top plate and it's all done. Tighten all screws on any new BNF drone. Often not all screws are tightened out of the box and I don't think you want to deal with motors or other parts of the drone coming loose during flight. And the filters are only suitable for the O4 unit here. Filters from Avatar 2 will not fit here due to the camera mount. Now let's move on to the settings in better flight. Gyroscope check. Everything is okay. And the first thing I do is set my rates if you're interested pause and copy them. We will return to the GPS rescue settings later. First we need to at least bind the controller and even better find out the throttle hovering of this drone with different batteries. In the GPS tab immediately select use Galileo and set home point once. Let's move away from beta flight and activate and update the O4 unit. Reconnect the USB-C to the flight controller and update the ELRS firmware. At this stage we will record the bind phrase. 
Select Flywoo 2.4 GHz in the device category and Flywoo EL24 PTCXO 2.4 GHz RX in the device. Wait a moment. And now go back to Betaflight to configure our controller. Check that everything is working. Turn on telemetry. Go to the modes tab and set the controls to the switches that are convenient for you. Besides arm, only need angle, GPS rescue, beeper and flip over after crash. Switch the OSD to HD mode and configure what you need to see on the screen when you fly. I forgot to record a video with the GPS rescue setting, so I will explain it using better flight screenshots. It's very simple. First, we fly on the heaviest battery. In our case, it is a 3000 mAh lithium ion battery. And look at the hover throttle, which is approximately 46% for us. Of course, you can complicate the task and configure each battery individually. But as practice shows, this is not necessary. Now, all we need to do is set this hover throttle in the throttle field by putting a 1 at the beginning and a 0 at the end. And enter the same value in the throttle hover field. As you may have noticed, my value is not 45 but 65% and this is done so that at speeds when we are flying low above the ground or even more so above the tops of trees or rocks the drone, when the rescue mode is activated, immediately gains altitude noticeably. At hover throttle it may not fall but it will lose speed and altitude which can be critical in such conditions. We also need to set the aux value to switch to angle mode. To do this, select the aux to which angle is set and look at the value in the modes tab. In my case it is aux 3 and the switch value is 1500. If we do not set this value first 2 seconds after rescue is triggered, the drone will fly in the position it was in at the moment of loss of connection and with the throttle value we set earlier. And if we make any maneuver or for example a flip and the drone is upside down, it will simply fly down at 65% throttle in this case. Lost. After setting the value in the same situation, the drone will immediately Telemetry switch locked. to angle mode, regardless of its position. Telemetry recovered. Finally, set the aux value to which the GPS rescue command is linked, using the same method as in the previous case. The basic setup of rescue mode is complete, and this will be enough for all cases of connection loss, but don't forget to test it first before flying a real long range. We have finished the setup, all that remains is to mount the propellers and weigh our explorer. For the propellers we use M2 by 7 screws which are also included in the kit. And the total weight is almost 176 grams. With a light Lea heavy battery at 730 milliamps it weighs only 244 grams. With an 850 million battery it weighs 272 grams. And with a large 3000 milliamp hour Lee ion battery it weighs an impressive 370 grams. By the way, I assembled this battery myself and if you want to know how it's done write in the comments and I'll make a video on how to assemble such a battery. The additional supports add an extra 4 grams but we'll find out whether they're useful or not in the next video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Now let's fly. And the first thing we'll check is GPS rescue. The 
yep, it works. Next, what interests me is how much the image will shake and how it will stabilize in gyro flow. And indeed, since this is a very light drone, it reacts to any breeze. And as soon as we rise high, we see how the image in the glasses begins to shake. But we also see that this is easily corrected in gyro flow and to be honest, it won't always work perfectly. Sometimes you can notice shaking even after stabilization. Like here for example. Look at the edges of the image. But in most cases you will get excellent footage that is pleasant to watch so I don't think there is a problem here. If you want a more stable image go for the 7 inch model. There are no other options. A lightweight drone will have problems with wind in any case. Let's move to the beautiful park in Altaya to test the flight time with a 3000 mAh battery and at the same time check how it flies with a heavy battery. The average speed against the wind is about 40 to 45 km per hour, while downwind it is already 70. The percentage of throttle in both cases is 60 to 65%. It flies beautifully but forget about freestyle, even with a light battery this drone is not designed for that and with a heavy one you have to be very careful with sharp maneuvers otherwise something like this or worse could happen. But it handles impacts very well as we will see in the next video.
As for the rest, speed, smoothness, responsiveness, everything is at a very good level. Unfortunately, the rainy season prevented me from fully testing the flight time, but even what I have flown so far shows great potential. 17 minutes and 53 seconds, even though I landed at 3.3 volts per battery, whereas Li-ion batteries can be discharged to 2.8 to 2.7 volts per battery, so in such conditions it's quite possible to fly for more than 30 minutes. Write in the comments how long you think it will last during a real long range flight. We will find out very soon, so stay tuned to the channel. And as you understand, the next video is already in editing and in it I will turn an excellent drone into the perfect drone for traveling, so click the bell so you don't miss what I'm going to do with this drone. It will be ready very soon and it will be really cool. That's all for now, please be more active, repost, like, comment to motivate me to make more videos. Thank you all for watching and see you soon.